Welcome to Magic Arcanum! I'm Ryan Gomez. Behind the scenes is Nicole Burdick, and we're so glad you're here because it's story time. So here is a story for you. I just got this package in the mail from my friends over at Dragon Shield. It was, of course, full of sleeves, including some of their new matte duels, which have a colored outside and an all black inside. Now, I love Dragon Shield sleeves. I've used them exclusively for as long as I can remember, with my only issue being, if you got ones in a fun color, you'd also have this weird border around your cards. But not anymore! Matt Duels fix this, and they are therefore my new favorite sleeves of all time. And I want to share how great they are by giving away these three boxes to three lucky lore mages. But first, let's talk about what else makes Dragon Shields great. Not only are they a top-of-the-line product that will protect your favorite deck for many, many games, they also come with their own stories. And hey, if you're watching Magic Arcanum, it's probably because you love stories, right? Today I want to talk about two ways you can get into the lore behind Dragon Shield. The first is with their free audiobook adventure series, which you can download wherever you get your podcasts. This 10-chapter story is entirely self-contained. You don't have to know anything else about Dragon Shield to enjoy it. And you will enjoy it, because I helped write parts of it. Yep, a few years back they hired me as a consultant, and I worked along with the author, Ian Spiegel Bloom, to create a tale full of adventure, magic, comedy, and even a little bit of that mushy romance stuff that you pretend to be too cool for, but secretly, you're down for it. Anyway, it's called Vicar's Conquest, and it has it all, including some of the dragons you see on the Dragon Shield boxes themselves. Which brings us to the second place you can learn about these fascinating creatures. Right on the packaging! To illustrate my point, let's take a closer look at the back of the three boxes of sleeves I'll be giving away. Up first, the Orchid Sleeves, which feature Emmy, the god of Ever and Ender. Before suns streaked across the sky and planets twirled around them, casting shadow and forging time, there were but three dragons, the Astral Dracona. They flew across the universe in an endless void until they appointed their god hand and began to force order onto an untamed world. The yellow Astral Dracona made the suns and appointed Emmy as deity of the Ender and the Ever, the ancient Dracone terms for past and future. The flowers on her body shrivel and die, only to bloom again in even more vibrant colors at the dawn of each new age. So we have this sort of flowery dragon that watches over both the past and the future, experiencing periods of growth and death along the way. I think that's really cool. It reminds me a bit of Belladros Witherbloom from Strixhaven. So maybe you could use these orchid sleeves on a Witherbloom deck. Up next is Neonin, Warder of the Boar, from the Crypt Sleeves, which are a nice smoky gray. Deep beneath the roots of the eucalyptus tree, where the divine dragon Lahel created life and death, a tear in the fabric of reality threatens to rip open the barrier between the worlds of the living and the dead. This tear, called the Boar, is guarded by Neonin, Lahel's warder. Her purpose? To capture wayward souls lost on either side of the Divide, returning the benevolent to their proper place. And to those careless souls who would reach beyond their worlds, Neonin waits, eager to devour. So, she is a fearsome gatekeeper, a protector of the afterlife, and would probably get along well with someone from Kamigawa, where the merge gates are also little rips in reality that have to be guarded. And that brings us to Nirin, god of Nu and Nyx, as shown on the snow sleeves. You could probably guess what color they are. Once the astral Dracona had completed their work and appointed gods for all things, they examined all they had wrought and discovered an oversight. 
they had not yet appointed a god to oversee the creation of new ideas, to ensure that their work of taming the wild and dangerous dust continued in the newly forged universe. And so they birthed Niren and placed him beneath the frozen tundra of the Wraithlands, where he could dream up new wonders undisturbed and keep the discarded in the graveyard of imagination. Would you like a dreamy dragon as your commander? Someone with ideas as pure as freshly fallen snow? I think I would. That's a nice change of pace from the aggressive dragon decks we usually see. I think these mini-stories are super inspiring. They're fun to read, and they bring some life to the sleeves. And they help me come up with new ideas for decks, too. And now I'm going to share their awesome power with three of you. Here's how it will work. I am willing to mail out these orchid, crypt, and snow sleeves to any mailing address within the United States. If you live beyond that, that's fine, but you have to supply a stateside address and figure it out from there. Second, to be considered for my giveaway, you must complete the following tasks. Number one, go and listen to the first chapter of the audiobook adventure. I've got a link down in the description of this video. Second, you must be a subscriber of the Magic Arcanum YouTube channel, and you must like this video. Finally, you must leave a comment on this video telling me your thoughts about the first chapter of Vicar's Conquest. Now, to be clear, I am picking who gets the sleeves based on the effort they put into this. Obviously, I cannot verify you actually listened to the audiobook. We're going to have to go with the honor system here. And leaving a comment that just says, story was good, can I have sleeves, will probably not actually get you sleeves. Having said that, I am not looking to grade anyone's college thesis here either, so be reasonable. And if this ends up being popular, we'll do another round of giveaways later. So yeah, go check out the story, come back here, like the video, sub to the channel, and leave a comment with your thoughts. I'll give you a week to do that, and then pick three people from among those who complete these steps to each receive a box of matte dual sleeves from Dragon Shield. No purchase necessary, void where prohibited by local laws, offer only good for United States mailing addresses, and I can't believe I have to say all this, I just want to give away some free stuff without getting myself in trouble, but here we are. Anyway, thanks to my friends at Dragon Shield for making this possible. Please check them out using the links down below, and then make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the great stories you'll only find here on Magic Arcanum. We'll see ya!